I'm Mike Sullivan. Okay, it keeps coming up over and over again. How do I stop slicing my driver? Or how do I stop slicing in general? So we're gonna talk about why it is that so many people have this problem with the slice and a couple things you can do to fix it. Okay, it's the beginning of November. Usually, usually the weather's pretty nice, but it is cold outside. Cookie's all bundled up right down there next to the camera. We're talking about getting rid of the slice. But let's first talk about what is going on. Why are you slicing? It's your club face. First thing is it's your club face. So your club face, when you swing the club, I'm saying you're because I'm assuming you're a sli slicer since you're watching this video. When you swing that club, your club face is pointed out to the right. The way that you're doing things is your club face just wants to be open, okay? So if you're, if you're doing something, say, in the way you hold the club and your club face wants to be open, well, in order to hit the ball straight, you're going to attempt to get the club moving to the left to square it. I don't know if you can see that, but I got it square by doing this. All right, so let's hit a shot kind of like that. And the way I'm going to, I'm going to pull off the slice, and it, it works almost every time. Nothing is ever every time, right? But I grip the club with an open face grip. So this is incorrect. This is the way to continue slicing, but I want to point it out. When we put our hand on the club, our top hand here, it's intuitive for people to get their palm on the club so that the back of their hand points parallel to the target line. And my thumb is going like straight down the shaft. People think they're supposed to do that. And then my right hand, the palms kind of match. But what's happening is this is a grip that's going to cause slices. So I'm going to try to make a pretty good swing here with this weak grip or open face grip. And let's watch what happens. All right, let's see what happened there. Off to the right, right off the get-go, went off to the right and continued going off to the right. Okay? So what's going on is that weak grip caused an open club face. The ball just sails straight off to the right. So if I'm a golfer and I've hit a few balls and I want to quit hitting it to the right and I don't start by addressing the club face, I just try to figure out how to hit it straight, I'm going to change the path that I swing the club on. If you're like... 95% of the slicers out there, you're going to change your swing path. So now I'm going to adjust my swing path to compensate for that open club face. Same weak grip. So I have not, I have not fixed the root problem. I'm just going to try to figure this out. And this is the way that people do things, right? So I'm going to uh, try to start, get the, get the ball to go straight any way I can. And it's going to be through my path. Okay, so that ball, I think, started off more straight. Oh, it still kind of went to the right a little bit. Watch the spin axis on this ball, though. So I'm going to switch this to the spin axis, okay? See that 14-degree angle <laughs> where it's kind of going like, like that, okay? That's because my club on that ball came from an out-to-in swing path because I was trying to square it up. So in other words, my club base was open, so I got the old out to in going. I think you get the point. Hopefully I made myself clear on that. So what's the first thing you want to fix? The club face, okay? Let's get the club face doing the right thing to incentivize us to make a better swing. So if I'm used to that over the top out to in swing and I correct my grip, there's a good chance now that my club face is going to be pointed to the left my path is going to be going to the left and I'm going to hit a big old pull. So the first thing that's going to happen, so the road, so think about it, you're going to get on the road to correcting the slice to playing great golf. So your road probably is going to go through the town of Pull Hook Town or Pull Hooksville. All right. So let's take a trip. This sounds corny. Let's take a trip to Pull Hook Town. So I'm going to change my grip. This V goes towards my right shoulder and then my right hand 
I'm going to get my palm matching up to where, where I want the ball to go. Okay? So that's the grip I like to see. But I'm going to continue to have that path, right? Because I've ingrained that over the top, out to end path. All right, so let's see what that ball flight looks like. That should be left, yep, left to left. Now notice there's no right hand curve on that. So when you look at that spin axis on that ball, it is going like this, the opposite of what it did before. Okay, so I've got that hook spin going on because my club face was actually closing and the club was traveling to the left. All right, so the, the, really the road to getting this correct, the first step is going to be to fix that grip, to get that top hand more on top of the club so that you can rotate that club more easily to square it or even close it. And if, don't try for perfectly straight off the bat try to hit that big old pull hook, all right? Once you have that happening, now think about your incentive. With the open club face, you were incentivized to swing over the top. With a closed club face, even if it's closed, you're going to be incentivized to come more from the inside of the target line out onto the target line and back around inside a way that actually makes some sense, correct? So after a while, see if I hit a good shot now. Now the pressure's on. I've got my nice grip. Let's see if I can make a nice swing path to correlate with the good grip. Well, it started off straight. Look at that. Look at that, how that worked out for me. How about it, okay? Now granted, I, I, I kind of fixed that over the top habit a few years ago. However, the idea is first you fix your club face, then you're incentivized to make better swings, and you may be watching this saying, hey, explain to me how to fix the path. I would say this, get the grip right. We'll do a future video about how to help correct that path to get the, the habit change there, but you've got to make that grip habitual before you fix the path to really get rid of that slice. I hope that helps. Oh, by the way, hit the little bell. There's a bell now. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notification about every time we do a video. I meant to say that earlier. So I hope that helps. Hit the bell. We'll see you next time.